Hey there guys, it is Ivazonix, and today I am here with a very special video for you. Today I will be teaching you guys how to run your own onion site using Python. And it is awesome, it is amazing. And when I figured this out, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should make a tutorial about how others should do this. Because there seems... To my knowledge, there seems to be no tutorials on how to run an onion site using Python. So that's what I will be teaching you guys how to do today. So let's get to it. So now we're in my um, code and as you can see, um, we need um, to make sure that we pip install stem right here. Let me just type it in for you, but you'll need to type into your terminal. And you'll also need to uh, make sure that you have um, Tor installed too. So like a Tor browser or the um, developer kit. And then the second one you'll need is FastAPI. So it's pip install FastAPI. I already have these libraries and I'm mainly just showing you how to go through everything. So my um, Tor... Um, my Tor hidden service what it will do is it will just send that to um, that which is what we don't want since I have this actually in my documents folder so it is best to just map out the entire thing so that it'll go directly there so um, then um, like so once you add this to your torque file you'll need to add the hidden service port and in my case I am using port 80 my local host which this is everyone's local host IP address and then port 5000 so um, this is what you'll basically need and sorry if I sound a little ill um, I'm actually having really bad allergies today so um, you'll need to go to port um, 5000 for for me that is but you can pick whatever port you want just make sure that um, the ports align so like basically what I'm trying to say here is that um, you need to make sure that your ports match up and what that will do is it will port forward so like um, if we had fast API open, which we are going to get to, and our local host, which I'm just going to type in local host, and our port, we want the port and the uh, onion site port to match up because that will port forward it to our onion site. So that's how we do it. So after like we do um, that, we can then um, go straight to um, setting this up. I have this up so that we can activate Tor and um, then we can um, launch our onion site. And as you can see down here, this is my current onion site. Big shocker to everyone. And um, so um, what this will do is it um, will um, set up the controller and this is after we set up our um, first part which is setting up our Tor client which we need to have um, our Tor path which I actually don't think oh I do perfect you need to make sure that you map out to your Tor exe file so that you can even you know just get there and then um, another thing too is that Tor may already be up, but I recommend that if this is your first time that you get rid of this try and accept block because there may be problems with your system that you might have to fix before you can just continue on to the next stage. That's what I had to do personally and it was pretty technical, but it's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. So now um, we um, are going to activate this and I will try and, you know, put this code in the description or somewhere in the future. But for right now, 
you'll just have to eyeball as much as this as possible. And like I said before, I am I have a really cloggy throat. So I'm trying to go through this as best as possible and as fast as I can. So um let's let's run this actually. Alright, this should activate. Okay, there we go. And just letting you know, like, if you run this on your computer, um, won't turn off. Like, you'll have to restart your computer. But after you get this up, you do not have to run this again, which is nice. So now, um, we are in business. Here's our onion site. And, um, we can't just visit it there just yet. We need to load the HTML up. That's why we have fast API, which is probably the best, um, you know, thing to use for like loading your website and whatnot. Personally, I use it for that. And um, we'll be visiting this onion site in a bit. It's pretty cool. So um, now we need to run um, this line of code right here. And remember that the ports need to match up. Otherwise, it will not work. So let us do that. And, um, we'll get going with that. So, let me just paste this in. It's, uh, uvicron main colon app dash dash host. And then here is our port. Um, before I, you know, run this, you might want to see this, uh, source code right here. So, um, what this is, is it's, um going to load our home page and it will load my HTML up which it's pretty cool honestly and um, I have AIO files since this part is asynchronous in fact all of my um, code right now is asynchronous and um, it will um, load up my um, HTML response so, um, here's the, um, stuff, and, um, I had some color ideas, that's why you see all these hex numbers here. And, um, I have this right here mainly so that way people can't just access my files, and with .png. But I did just recently just figure out, like, just say photos slash, and then the photo name. And this is for the HTML to be able to load the um stuff for the site it's mainly just for the loading the images so um now without further ado let us um run this so i didn't explain before um you know just how um, amazing a onion site can be it will um hide your ip address if you know what you're doing and um it's really good for like getting around things like censorship and all the all that other horrible stuff that comes with just running a normal site. So um, here's my onion site. Let us go to it. See what's on it. This is exciting. So now um, we need this to load. And then I will get back to you guys when I enter in my stuff. Okay, so I'm here now. Um, took a while to load, but we made it. Alright. Here we are. That is amazing, by the way. Okay, let us visit my website. Or should I say, Onion Site. You know, not all of Tor is the dark web. Like, there's some, you know, clean websites out there. Just be careful with what you look up when it comes to um, onion sites. So here's my incomplete website, as you can see. I made this myself. And, um, yeah, there it is. Like, my YouTube channel and my Discord server. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, and down here, I also uh, decided to um, give my Monero wallet as well 
for anyone that wants to support me and my videos. So yeah, that is how I got it to load. And the nice thing is, like, it's not too difficult, like I said before, like, if you know what you're doing. And, yeah, to get into some more, like, basic details, like, this is, like, how it, you know, relays fr from um, the guard node to um, the exit node. And then it does the same thing for my side. And that's how um, we get to the onion site. Anyways, I hope you liked this little uh, tutorial on, you know, how to run a onion site completely with Python. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. I cannot guarantee, though, that I will have this onion site up 24-7, but hopefully in the future, if I do get a Raspberry Pi or something, like we can make it happen so hopefully if you know the chip shortage goes away i'll be able to run the site for you guys 24 7. so that is it i will see you now all in the next video bye